In this video, we're going to cover the new Smart Narratives feature, which was released as part of Power BI's September 2020 update. We're going to go through how you can start using this new feature to analyze your existing reports. We're also going to dig a little bit deeper, so customizing some words and dynamic elements to show you how powerful it really is uh, in an interactive report. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. Let's start by defining what smart narrative actually is. Well, it's essentially a summary of your charts and graphs in text format, similar to what your typical business analyst would write, except that in this case, it's powered by AI to find the trends in your data. Justina from the Microsoft team explains this feature much better than I do. Basically, if you think of the QA feature in Power BI, which lets you ask questions to your data using natural language, well, Smart Narrative goes the opposite way, where the charts and graphs are already there, and it just tells you some key takeaways based on what you have on your report. It will probably be much easier to show you how it works. So I prepared a small demo for us to work with today. This is an order summary report that I created for a fictional company that sells goods to individual customers. It's a basic report with a few callout cards and some charts to work with. I added a year filter so you can choose which year you want to look at. You can see on the right that I'm using a few tables with this report. I have the customers table, which has basic information about our customers, like the name, which company they work for, things like that. We have an orders details table, which contains details about the order, like the quantity of goods they bought and at what price. We have our fact table order, which contains detailed references to which customer ordered, order details and when they ordered. I also added a standard calendar table and a DAX table to store our calculations in one place. In this report, I created one measure, which is just calculating the price from our details table using some X. I won't cover in detail how I wrote this function because it's not really the scope of this video, but I covered it in another video in the past. So check that out if you want to know more. You can see that this report is pretty much complete in the sense that the charts are there and the slicers are there. But as a storyteller, maybe you want to highlight certain things in your data, like which month had the highest profit, or maybe compare this month to the previous month. And you want to be able to highlight this in a natural language to explain your data as key takeaways from your report. So how would you do that? The first thing that would probably come to your mind is, well, let's take a screenshot of that, put it in a PowerPoint, and you can write your own commentary, right? Well, that means every time your data changes, you have to keep doing that taking screenshot and writing the same commentary every single time you have to present it. So if you have to report on this monthly, then you'll have to keep creating new PowerPoints every month. And we don't want to be doing that much work. This is where smart narratives come in. In order to use smart narratives, you need to make sure you download the September 2020 version of the Power BI desktop. And under visuals, make sure you enable the smart narrative visual on the preview features so you can start using it. You will have to restart your Power BI desktop, but once you boot it back up, you should be able to see a new option, smart narratives under the visualizations pane. If you right click on any of your charts, you'll have the new option to summarize it which generates some basic analysis on that specific visual in a natural language type of format. If you want to summarize the whole page of your report, you can delete this one we just made and click on the smart narrative visual option that we now have. You'll see that it now generates a summary of our report with a single press of a button. We don't really have to do much beyond that. This dynamic content is great if you think about it. It means that the key takeaways will change as the data changes, which reduces the manual work you'd have to be doing if you had to do this every single time in PowerPoint. Now that you can see how simple it is to start using the Smart Narratives feature, let's dig a little bit deeper into it to see how much we can customize this and take it to the next level. If you pay attention to the text as we change the years, you'll see that only the text with a blue underline are dynamic. The rest stays the same. 
If you click on any of them, you'll see a pop-up with some details about how they're being calculated. You'll notice as well that you can add your own custom narrative with the dynamic visuals. In a nutshell, think of smart narratives as a text box, except you can add dynamic values with it. Let's think how we can use that new information to improve our report. Let's say I want to upgrade this title we have for this report. I wanted to say for which year we are looking at in this, and I want it to dynamically change as I select different years from my filter. Let's start by typing four, and from the pop-up, you'll need to select the plus value to create a new dynamic value. Now it will ask us how we want to calculate this value. We can use natural language here to try and get the value we want. In this case, we want to get the year. So let's type calendar year. From our data table, we know that our year column is named calendar year. So we'll just follow the suggestion that it gives us. The pop-up will show you a sample of the results. It looks like the right value, so that's fine. Let's name our value so we know what it is for later. Let's name it calendar year. Like in a normal text box, you can format it however you like. So let's adjust the size and color to match the rest of the title. Now you will see that as I select different years, the dynamic value we created in the title also changes. Let's look at another way we could play around with the dynamic visuals. Let's go back to our summary here. Now while it's a great summary with great key points, but I don't like how it's worded. I want this narrative worded my way. So I prepared here a small text summary of what I want to highlight. It's not too different from what we got already. I also marked the texts that will be dynamic, so we can replace those with our values later. I'm going to copy this text and paste it onto the text box summary we have here. Now let's click on the review and click show auto-generated values. This lists out all the dynamic values that these smart narratives generated for us. We'll use this to replace the dynamic parts of our text. Since all our dynamic values are already made for us, we won't have to write any new ones. We'll just use the same values in here. For example, if you click on any of the dynamic values already, you'll see that the value name will come up on the pop-up box. We'll go to our text, click review, and look for the right value we want to use in this case v1 then we'll click the plus icon to add it to our text we'll do the same thing to the rest of the values i'll speed up the process to spare you watching me doing the same thing again and again now all we have to do is delete the auto-generated text that we have and there you go we now have a custom smart narrative that dynamically changes its values based on your report filters and it's in my words. Now this is just one of the simple ways that you can use smart narratives for your reports. If you're looking for other inspirations, there are a ton of YouTubers out there who are exploring other ways you can start using smart narratives in your reports. BI Elite posted a video going into some more examples on how you can integrate your own measures into your smart narratives. So check his video out if you want to know how. Chris Wagner over at Kratos BI created a video about smart narratives and comparing it against an already existing custom visual that does about pretty much the same thing. If you want to know what the key differences are between this new smart narratives and the existing one narrative science, go check his video out. All the videos that I reference in here, I will make sure to add the link in the description box below. And that's it from me around smart narratives. So what did you think? Are you gonna start using this new feature to improve your storytelling in Power BI? Let me know in the comments section below. Give this video a like if it helped you in any way. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoyed this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching this video, guys. See you again on the next one.